in the humble hills of the avium savannah. You ain't a man until you settled up your first capybara. Howdy there, partner. My name's Woody Wild, and this is the Wild West. I've lived at the Locust Oasis my whole life, but now that our borders have opened, it's time for me to leave home and see the big white world. For the first time, Balamorians with a passport can enter Mistelin's borders, as well as a place called Port Serim that can take me over to Greater Corum by ship. Plus, I've heard of a land called the Wilds that nobody rules over, and that sounds just like home to me. I wonder if they have capybaras there too? I'm sure no harm will come in finding out. Well, hello there folks. I haven't even finished editing in the last episode yet, but I'm just so desperate to get into this new content. I'm already here on the Isle of Mistrock. I've been cutting maples here because various skilling activities in Valamore are now able to grant you loop half of keys. You know that useless item that's been useless forever and we had it unmarked because it was that useless? Well now I had to remark it, loop halves and two halves because they made a new item with the exact same name for some reason, even though it's a different key. Today, I'm gonna try and get myself one or more of those keys. I've already got two loop halves. I got them from mining in Camterum, actually. I just wanted to switch things up a bit because, as you can see, we've got quite a lot of mining levels. 64 mining levels. I've got, like, 20-plus moths banked and a ton of prayer XP as well in Blessed Bone Shards from that whole grind. So I, that's mostly what I've done alongside a tiny bit of fishing for lobsters, which is where I got this pet heron earlier, our very first pet on the account that I will have shown very briefly at the end of the last video. And yeah, it's been pretty chill grind in the last few days while I've been editing. I basically had the footage recorded for two and ended up splitting it in half rather than making it one long one. So as I said, these new loop half of keys exist. And I managed to get two of them at Camterum. So that is very nice, but we need the two half to go with them. And how do you get the two half, I hear you ask? Well, there's two ways to get the two half. The loop halves are what come from skilling. It's still not fully confirmed what skilling methods there are to get them. The only one that I know is Camterum calcified rocks because I got these there but it's unclear at the minute until further information is given or gathered. The two half however is much easier to pinpoint. You either get it from Huey or Moxie which is another new boss I'm sure many of you didn't even know exist. I haven't fought it yet myself except for during the quest. So I think I'm gonna just see if we can do Huey. I don't think it'll go well. I don't imagine it'll go well but what's the worst that can happen right? The worst that can happen is it doesn't go very well. <laughs> That's it right? <sighs> okay woefully unprepared obviously. We have to bank the pet, actually. I'm hoping I can find a world that's running it in mass and just get enough for contribution. Because it's separate to the normal reward roll anyway, so it doesn't matter how well we do, as long as we do well enough to get a roll. It doesn't look like a lot of people there. I need to talk to this person first. Cheats, that was quick. I don't think I did enough damage to get a reward. That kind of sucks. Kind of expected the. We'll try another one, see. Maybe if I pray, it'll help. Nah, I didn't damage it enough. I actually got a message this time, though, at least. Okay, so that is out of reach at the moment, which means the only other choice is Moxie. And I think we may be able to take Moxie. I haven't done it, but from looking it up, it seems doable. It seems like a similar level of encounter to Scurrious, which isn't that bad. We can do Scurrious, so if we can do Scurrious, I think we can do Moxie. But first, we have a quest to do, and that begins at the Tiamat. Yeah, nice thing is, all of the new quests that were released, all four of these, Heart of Darkness, Definitely, I'll Meet and Greet, Ethelie, Quine, Tinkerties, they have decent XP rewards tied to them, for lower level accounts, at least, and we can do all of them. So, we have the requirements for all of them, it's very nice. Uh, actually, if we go into the Tiamat, 
to start this quest, I may as well do my bone shards, right? Got 13,000. How many ones does that need? 34. Okay. So I'm not going to get it all off. I guess I'll just take as many ones as I can. There's too many things to do. There's another thing I want to do now. But it's not that exciting, but I do want to show it off. I'll start the quest first. One thing at a time, James. Right. I don't actually have to read this this time because I did it all on stream the other day when it released. I did all the other quests on my main afterwards as well, so I can do them fairly speedily, I reckon, without quest helper. They're fresh in my mind right now. 54 pro. Make that 55. Mm, that's 56 out of 1. 88 combat. Woody's getting kind of stacked, I have to say. Do I even have enough wine? It's rough. Okay, I'm going to go to the next quest objective because it's in a pub. So I can buy some wine there. Look at me getting my skill in done while I'm questing. Okay, let's have all the wine. Okay, now we'll go back to the tier map. I did run out of wine anyway, but I've also only got 300 shards left and we just got a pro level, so that'll do. One more reset and then one more detour before we do the rest of this quest. Just because I want to show you all something that I haven't tried yet, but I read up on it and apparently it's a thing. So I want to go try it. Because a really random thing is that a great cooking method for iron men is making wine. But I can't do grapes. I don't have the chest in Lumbridge basement from Recipe for Disaster, so I can't buy grapes very easily. There's no real good way for me to get them in mass. However, apparently, fill it with four grapes. Need them to be ripe. They'll shine. Okay, this might not be that quick then. Let's see. I can't see any here. I'll go to the other patch. I thought you'd just be able to pick them all. I didn't realise you had to get the shiny ones. Got to be at least one shiny one, right? Is there another vineyard? Oh, there's more over here. Maybe there's only like one at a time. Okay, this is immediately turning out to be worse than I thought it was going to be, but... Yeah, here we go. There's a shiny one. I'm guessing it'll move when I do that. <laughs> Okay, that took ages just for me to get four grips. Wait, there's two of them shining at the minute. Doesn't that help that it's so hard to see? So yeah, basically the process, you pick four grips, you get five back. Noted. It's a bit of a piss take, to be honest, because you have to run between all three of these patches. Maybe they didn't mean for this to be like an actual thing that people do. I mean, they definitely didn't think that anyone would actually think this was useful, but I did. I thought it'd be useful. Right, well, it takes me roughly an energy potion to get one jug done. Don't think we'll be doing that again anytime soon. I still get what the point of this is. An obelisk up there? Has anyone been up there? Genuinely no idea what it's for. It's just a massive mountain sitting there and like, who's gonna take the time to run up it? I know I'm not. Right, here we go. Alright, next trial. So it's the wave base game, innit? Cool, next trial. Oh, they got rid of my bandages. Okay, last trial. All done with the trials. There we are. Final bit. So this is Moxie, although I don't think we get a drop from this part of it. But I'm pretty sure the fight afterwards is basically the same. So we pray mage, we report ourselves, and we stab the bitch. Supposed to break these, I don't know if we need to or not. Okay, two hits, not bad though. Stops the ice from spreading, and she turns your prayer off. I mean, it's a little slow, but so far so good. Yeah, I think it's a good job we have been destroying the ice cubes because this arena would probably be full if we hadn't. I don't need to do those ones though because it's almost dead and they're at the edge. Oh, kicks me out. We don't get a drop. Banishes me. The hell? You don't get banished, you get access. Can I get straight back in? I just wonder if there'd be a drop on the floor if I did. Surely not. That takes me straight down there. Maybe if it's only after the quest is done. Ah, uh, yeah, well, let me go back in until I've done the quest. And there is 8k in mining, thieving, slayer and agility. I think we got a level in agility. I don't think we got any others. Uh, thieving might have just popped one as well, actually. Oh, we got a slayer level too. That's nice. 52 slayer. Nice. 
few different levels popping in there, and now we have full access to that dungeon. However, it is a bit awkward to get to. Not a lot we can do about that though, so I'm gonna have to just try and camp it out, cause there's no banks nearby, and there's no quick way back there. Maybe I can get like 5kc trips or something. We'll see, smart time first. All right, folks, here we go for our first ever Moxie KC. All right, three. Does he always do three on this version? Because that's annoying. Wait, that seemed like it was one tick though, maybe, between them. Maybe if you position yourself between them, you can get them all very quick. Yeah, that was one tick. Okay, that's not bad at all. You can get those down very quick. I'm more worried about this floor starting to build up more. Dangerous if you step on it, which I keep doing. Let me get this tagged so I can see it square. Too much ice in here, man. Maybe our DPS isn't fast enough to do this consistently. There is a way better weapon we could be using, and guess who drops it? Moxie. Well, the Frost Nagua does too, so that'd be another way for us to get it. And it may well be the case if this isn't looking too good, but it's doable, it's just not easy. We should be okay. Oh no, I did not realise it healed it. That was dumb of me. There we are. First kill. You get three drops of kill. We've got death runes, adi ore, and a frozen tear. I used a lot of food though. I'm gonna have to be very careful on this next kill. There we go. I can actually fucking see it now. But I know where my character is gonna get dragged into if I click. No. No. I might die. I'm willing to die for it. Yes! Oh! Ooh! Ooh! That's good! That's really good! Holy shit, as if we got one of those already! Oh my gosh! Let me get out of here. There's a reason why I'm running out and not. Let's go! Okay, so I believe we have to go and touch this statue. Wonder what that did. Well, if we put these tears in the pendant, then we can rub it. And we can teleport to the Twilight Temple. And there's, th there's a bunch of others as well. I should probably go around and get them now that I have the... I don't actually know where they are. Oh, that's sick. I mean, he drops them fairly frequently, I think, but it's still really cool to have one. So there's one at the Dark Frost next to Huey. I can get that. There's one at the Twilight Temple here. There's one at Ralos's Rise. So that's slightly closer to Cam to Rome. And there's one on Alderin, but you have to do a quest to be able to do that. That's honestly sick. I'm so happy we got that already. It gives me a way to get back here. I was just complaining that there's no quick way for me to get here, but now I can come right to the statue right in front of Moxie. So that makes banking way, way easier. It does have charges, of course. You need to charge it with those frozen tears, but at the minute, I'm planning to grind out a bunch more of these kills. I'm actually thinking I might kill some of the Nagua, the Frost Nagua. The, the hammers that are an upgrade that would make this easier are from the Frost Nagua or from Moxie. We don't know the drop rate for Moxie yet, but it's 1 in 500 from the Frost Nagua. But that could take quite a while, and I'd have to take my own prayer potions. But that was seeming very slow, so why don't we go and see how the Nagua feels to kill? I don't think I'll really need much food, because... We'd just be praying the whole time, right? So, yeah, let's have invent space for... Oh, look at that. Oh, that is a nice animation. I like that animation. 
I don't want to waste the charge to do it again, but I did like that animation right then. How convenient that is, right here. It's probably like a one in five drop rate or something, who knows. So yeah, I'm not going to be praying offensively, but it seems to be dying at a reasonable rate. This is not bad at all, and of course these guys, like the other Nagua, have much better drops apparently, but an extra plus four damage to every hit splat, so we get bonus from having the dual hitting weapons. A rune mace on the first kill though, along with some more charges for this. Not complaining at all. Every kill gets us charges for this, I think. Oh, maybe not, okay. The pendant is one in 100 from these guys. Oh, they can drain your prayer for 15 though, if you don't dodge that. So it's a little less AFK maybe than the sulfurs. Water orbs is nice. It's another reason I wanted to grind these out because now I can process my staffs without having to do perilous moons. Prayer potion one. Where's the nearest altar? There's an altar not far. I could always just go up there to refresh my prayer, right? It's like it only lasts three minutes though. It's not that long, is it? I should bring out uh, nature runes though for sure. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Cheers, game. Oh, Rune Mace is only 8k? What the fuck? Did I just low alk that? Oh, they're actually only worth 8k. That's crazy. 10 coal is not bad at all. We've got way more iron than we do coal at the minute, so... And you need twice as much coal as you do iron. Because unlike every other player in the game, I can't use the Blast Furnace to half the amount of coal I need. 50 bone shards. They're going down very quick. The drops don't seem that bad, so... I'm content to kind of just grind these out for a while. Hopefully get the hammers, and then with the hammers we'll be able to have another shot at the boss. Because its crush defense is 40, versus its slash defense of 100, so we should have much higher DPS. With the hammers, just because of the increased accuracy. All the drops here are like node 2, which is great. Death runes. Gold ore, always nice as well. The only drop I didn't care about so far was the water runes, so if water runes are the worst drop on the table, then not too bad. Now if I had 75 hunter, I could catch these moths to sustain my prayer here. There's a moth right here. That's actually an infinite prayer sustain. You just keep catching it. If you bring a butterfly net with you and you have the 75 hunter, you could sustain it without prayer pots. That'd be so much nicer. But yeah, 75 is high. Although I think it only works from a jarred version, so you'd have to bring a jar and keep opening it, but you know. Just add another tears drop, so we've got 24 teleports here, and every time we come here we're going to be getting more tears. Like, we're not going to use the teleports for any other location at the minute, so it's always going to have more than enough, really. Kind of like a Xerix, like once you use your Xerix, never really runs out. If you never kill the lizard men it will. As long as I kill Nagua occasionally, I'm good. I don't know if all the creatures here drop frozen tears, they probably do. Actually, while we're here, I could try killing the jellies. I should at least check if they're not task only. Oh, there's no map. Oh, there's the jelly. We just try one on while we're here. Okay, so let me attack them. Apparently it's pretty melee, not mage. I just knew it was magical base melee. One jelly into myth boots. Two jelly into rune kite shield? What are we saying? 2kc done. Never look, eh? Right, I think what I'm gonna do, rather than recording hours of footage of me farming mobs, I'm gonna turn the camera off. <laughs> I'm gonna come back with a DDS, and I think I'm just gonna farm the Nagua and the chilled jellies for a bit. The things I'm looking for are the Glacial Tomotely, which are a pair of hammers that have the exact same stats as the Sulphur Blade, except they're a Crush style Crush bonus and a Slash bonus, and they have a plus two prayer bonus on them as well, which is nice. It'll make AFK prayer training, you know, when I'm using robes much better, and it'll be way better for the boss. So that's the main thing I'm looking for, but I also won't mind grabbing some Myth Boots, just so I have some boots with decent defensive stats on them that I can use for Perilous Moons. There's no strength bonus on the Myth Boots, but still Necreal at 80 Slayer, which is still way away, way, way away. It's the best we're going to get, so I can't use Climbing Boots, I can't get Dragon Boots for a million years. we just got to just gotta stick it out. So Myth Boots would be a good upgrade, and the Glacial Tumult, and that's basically all I'm looking for. If I get a Rune Kite Shield along the way, because it also drops from slimes, then that's great. I'll be able to use it for moons too. But it's not something I'm going to stay around to hunt once I've got the boots. The boots are only a 1 in 64, so I'm going to bring my nature runes. Right, I'll see you guys when I have some upgrades.
Well, 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 folks. It is a couple of days. It feels like so long. But you might notice two upgrades here. We've got the hammers and the boots, finally. Let me tell you. Getting these motherfuckers has been an absolute piss take. Man is out of Renar weeds. Man is out of Renar seeds. Man's got 50 prayer pots left. We're just about making do with that. It took a thousand and forty nine of these to get the hammers. I killed two more after just to see how it felt. Yeah, the boots were a lot kinder to me. Ooh, surprising Sam. The boots were a lot kinder to me, but this has been an extremely long grind. Thankfully though, we are finally at the end of it. Which means it's time to go check Moxie out. Should be much more doable now. Our accuracy has improved roughly. 200% we go from like 30% accuracy to 70 so it's ridiculous how much of a difference it makes just being on the right style and the same is true for Huey so if Moxie's not feeling too great I'm just gonna go over to Huey and see how that feels now that I've got the hammers I might be able to get some contribution on mass worlds yeah, that's the plan. Oh, and this thing has uh, unlimited charges in it now because I had 13 of them and each one breaks down into 100 frozen tears if you dismantle it. So this is maxed out. It can only have a thousand charges and I've got shit tons of that in the bank. Nice side effect as well is the amount of smithing XP I got here with the gold ore and the coal as well as the crafting XP slash money. I'm kind of rich now, I've got like 1.5 mil just sat in the bank. Uh, I got my smithing up a little bit, making the gold into bars, but I haven't processed it all yet. Still up to 47. And I got 5 strength levels and an attack level during this grind. So, it's been long, but it's been profitable overall. I'm excited to get into this and see how the boss feels. And hopefully we get ourselves... The two farth, that's what we're looking for here. The two farth of key. You know, we missed the first attack, but we hit the second and the third. And fourth, half of it at least. Okay, it seems fine. It's going pretty well so far. I made a couple of mistakes, but pretty chill. And we are still missing sometimes. Kinda sucks. I guess this is a high level boss, it's level 263, so... We are still only 71 attack after all. Not much to show for that one. I guess Adiol's okay, isn't it? But it doesn't feel great. It's not something I'll be able to use for a long time. No, the one coming. Okay. Might do one with prayer on, see how that feels. Offensive prayers, I mean. Oh, this is draining way too quick. I don't like it. It was going quicker, but it's just not worth it. Especially not with the amount of prayer pots I spent in the grind for these armors. Another thing that would increase my kill time, or decrease my kill time quite significantly, would be a combat bracelet. We're still quite a way away from the crafting, like, 8,000 pieces of glass away, but, you know, that can always get done. It's just something I don't want to do, but if I had a dragon stone, then a combat bracelet would be the first thing on the menu, seeing as though we've already got our glory. I would like a wealth too, but the, the combat bracelet is just more, way more important, because the stats it gives us. It's basically like an extra glory worth of stats, on top of the, the green dehyde vams we've been rocking for the entirety of our journey so far, since we got them, that is. I also retaliate, so I did not realise. Oh my gosh, I almost died. Give me a 33. I thought it was doing an ice cube thing, not a prayer off thing. Okay, this was a messy kill. Probably because I was talking. There we go. I think I got nothing drop there. It's meant to be three rolls, unless it was double death runs. I figure with the amount of charges I have on this, I should just teleport as much as often to conserve supplies, because this is not an issue, so... I'll probably go to like 25 KC, see how I'm feeling then. Maybe move to Huey at that point, depending on how rough it is. If we haven't seen a key by 25, then I'm going to be kind of thinking Huey's better, because the kills will just be so much quicker in a mass world as long as we can get contribution. And I think the drop rate might be better as well. I don't actually know what it is here, but I feel like the wiki said it was a lot lower than how Huey felt. Yes, yeah, so there's no expected rate for Huey yet, but apparently a key is 1 in 500 from this. That doesn't seem right though. 
Well, that seems really high because I got two at Huey in like 100 KC. So unless I was just crazy lucky or maybe Huey has a way better rate. But I don't think one in 500 sounds right from here. And Huey's rate is still marked as unknown on the wiki. I do like this boss. I think it's a good design and it, it teaches PVM mechanics. It's like a, you know, not a step up from, it's very scurrious adjacent. What it teaches you, you know, these sorts of mechanics of things on the floor that you see in raids often, like, like in the chamber's boss room or the penultimate guy in Torb. I can't remember what he's called. Lots of rune drops. Rune plate legs? I mean, I'll take it. It's an alcable. Probably the best drop we've had so far. Nature runes as well, actually. 51 nature runes in a rune plate legs is a decent drop. I'm not mad about that one. The rest so far have been very subpar. And it hasn't felt that much more accurate, honestly. I mean, it obviously is. I don't know what my kill times were the other day compared to now, but... Lots of Adior drops. Okay, another kind of disappointing drop. I'm not sure if I'm feeling this, to be honest. You have like half an hour so far and just... Like, the thing is, the only thing I care about on this drop table now, another pair of hammers will be nice in case I take them into the little wildy and lose them. The only thing I care about is the tooth half of the key, which is apparently a 1 in 500. I don't know if I believe that, but I feel like we'd get it way quicker at Huey. Plus, we'd have a chance to get, like, herb seed drops from Huey, plus other, like, cool uniques. You know, if we got Dragon Hunter Wand, we could actually equip it. We have the level, it's only 65. So I can't, I kind of feel like I'm going to shoot over to Huey. Okay, so the first time we're going is by a bird. Because we haven't unlocked the pendant teleport yet. But there is one and I'm going to get it on my way there. It'll be the quickest way to get to Huey when we're done. In fact, the quickest way to get to Huey for anyone, not just for me. If I know where it is, which I think I do. There, there it is. Still a bit of a runaway, but it's a close enough teleport. Very nice. Now we can use that statue. There are two more. There's one, like, here, which might be a decent way to get to Cam's run, but we've kind of been using Moss for that most of the time. It may also be a good way to get to the altar quicker than Bird. I don't know. I'd have to check it out. And then there's one on Alderin, which if I ever, well, when I get to, like, the quest on Alderin, I can unlock that. Okay, I'm gonna have to find a world with a decent amount of people in it. Oh, it's weird that there's no Huey worlds when this is a group boss. Eight people inside, maybe I stand a chance. Oh, I have to bank my pet, I forgot. No, I'm missing the star. No, I'm missing the star. Here we go. Will this be our first actual Huey KC? Should I save my specs for the damage buff to come online? That was silly of me. Oh no. Be careful. I was trying to mark the safe spots, but kind of just planked a bit there. Almost. Okay, maybe I don't want these on because it's draining way too quick. Hey, I got a drop. I got two seeds. Let's go. Holy shit. I mean, the Torstal seeds are the fucking useless, but the fact that I got two, I'm happy with that. Means I didn't do just shit shit. Like, I'm hitting a decent amount with these. Very nice. <laughs> Why is everyone just leaving me this? <sighs> Don't worry, guys. Woody's got it. Man, I'm not even sure if those specs are worth it. The hammers are just, like, more accurate. Five seeds? Oh, out of 55. Okay, that makes sense. Decent, decent. I mean, some plantable seeds would be real nice, but it already feels like the drops are going to be more useful than they were at the other place. I don't have to use too much prayer here either, because, like, nobody in this world is really trying to charge the pillars, so... I only need to put it on when I'm being attacked, which is only for like a tick. I'm gonna play it safe with these waves though, because they do hit hard when you get slapped by them. I'm already getting contributions, so I don't really need to worry about that. Like the missing DPS. As long as I'm taking part, that's all I care about. I'd rather not 
eat 25s to the face, like all those people just did. 72 cannonballs, that is a useless drop for me. My gosh, my energy's low as well. <laughs> More Adio! This game really wants me. Death runes that time. Three minute kills are quite slow, it might be worth trying it on a busier world. Four lander seeds. Okay, to be fair, the, the only... Oh, it does drop Renars and Aventos and Toad Flax, but we can't really do much with Toad Flax. Two Rune Maces. I haven't had enough of those recently. Okay, that's 7kc. I think I'm going to try and find a busier world. I'm going to have a split first anyway. What What's Jack X's plan for this, really? Like, there's only 12 people here on World 302. Like... Why is there no worlds for Huey? It makes zero sense. They're just expecting people to be here? It's a group boss. Okay, well I got enough for KC and it was an incredibly quick kill. Which is basically what we want because we just want mass amounts of kills to be able to get Key Tooth. Not sure I did enough damage there to get full rewards. Might be worth aggressively praying. No, I didn't damage it enough. Okay, maybe this world's too busy, now I'm complaining about it. <sighs> maybe I need to use my aggressive prayers. None of the British worlds are active at the minute. As long as I'm getting credit, that is the main thing. Okay, I'm not sure about this. I feel like I was better in the world I was in before. It might not be as busy anymore. I think it was the Winter Todd world. Yeah, there's 10 people inside. That should be all right. Zaf staff notification just coming through. We can get those every single day and make them into staff. So we've got like 200 orbs bank. Thanks to the ridiculous grind for the Tomotli. And more surely on the way once we get onto moons. So many thralls here. Making me think I should have one. Still just one herb law level shy, but only a tiny bit. Maybe I should go and pick one up. At least for any serious grinding, but I'm not really here for serious grinding. I just want to get a key. Well, actually I want to get two keys, but start off with one. Ooh, 20 Sunfire Splinters. First one's on the account. That is actually not bad at all. We don't have any method really to get these reliably, because Colosseum probably still isn't doable for us on the slider. I think it's going to be a while before I can step foot in the Colosseum, because even the basic waves are like, we don't have anything to, like, we can't ice barrage or ice burst them. Quam Seed. Just one this time. This world is definitely more my speed than the other one. Way easier for me to get contribution here. Oh, another rune mace, oh boy. Ooh, first Huasca seed. Can't grow or use the herb law for it yet. But nice to have, nice to have. 17 limpwort roots. Six sun-kissed bones. <sighs> I'm starting to think it might be a while. Would be nice to get some Renar seeds before leaving. Although it's not likely to be many. Getting like one seed at a time at the minute. Five lander seeds. Jesus. Just that one drops way more than every other for some reason. Toad flax are 2 to 40, lander's 3 to 60, all the other seeds are 1 to 20. I'm sure I'll appreciate the seeds once I'm up to that level, but it's still a while away yet. Cannonballs again. Mm, GZ for somebody. Two dragon bones. The fuck? No, I accidentally left! No! Oh! <laughs> I wonder if I go back in if it'll count my damage from before. No. Oh, I can't believe I lost the contribution there. Damn, there's only like five of us here at the minute. Another Huasca seed? I'll take it. Still would prefer a growable seed, but... For the next few hours, I was just doing Huey, and then some of my viewers were around too, so they joined me. We were doing it in mass for a while, ended up running private, so just the three of us. It was a pretty chill time, but nothing too crazy happened for the most part. It was just some good old grinding of a boss. Well, folks, 42kc at Huey. Not a great deal to show for it. Some seeds, I guess. 
not much usable seeds there. Do need to do more, of course, but I'm a bit low on food. So, yeah, that's a bit of a concern. I don't have many lobsters. I could do we're going to do some fishing to be honest. It's just boring as shit. So I'm like, yeah, I wanna go do fun stuff instead. But the food is looking very, very low. Unless I can think of another way to get some. Oh I'll tell you what, I keep forgetting to do this clue while I'm on cam. I'll go do this now. Uh, rev kit of teleport, I'll take us straight there. I'm pretty sure we have some. Plenty. Just realised I'm still in a really busy world, but oh well. Oh, we can't do that step. We can't get rune boots for a million years. That's annoying because we could actually do, like it's a doable step, just not for a long, long time. We don't get rune boots until like 80 Slayer. That is a shame. I'm gonna have to drop that one. Can't be blocking my hard clues for eternity. I think it's about time, now that I finally have the 50 herb law from random games that I've been doing, probably about time for me to do a Kingdom Divided. I'm fed up with seeing people's thralls and thinking I should have one of those, so I'm gonna go get one of those. See you in the quest done. Hello again everyone, I'm a bit further into the quest. The uh, Xanther fight was actually pretty difficult and I'm almost at this point where I need a couple of items here including a defense potion and I don't currently have any Renar weeds so I needed to get one of those for a start so I can make one and I also need white berries which I can't grow yet I'm eight farming levels away still so a good way for me to potentially get them is from the zombies here they drop them at a one in 50 rate so and they give 10 to 15 at a time, noted. And there's an altar right here where you can refresh your prayer. So you literally never have to leave. I just thought it was a fun one to point out because, you know, most people could just buy a defense potion from, I mean, if you're a main, the GE, but if you're a Iron Man even, you can buy one from the Warriors Guild in Berthorpe easily enough, as long as you have the levels to get in, which I do. But... I can't do that. So, edge case scenario, here I am farming undead druids for a white berry. And hopefully we get a Renar on the way as well, because they're also a 1 in 52 rate, I think, so. We'll see. Okay, so I did end up staying there for like 28 kills, not too long. Got a couple other pages for the books there. I didn't get the white berries, but I realized like five minutes after recording that clip anyway that there's white berry spawns on Lava Dragon Isle. So I'm just going to go there and pick some up. And I figured while well, we're going to Lava Dragon Isle, we may as well see if we can find ourselves a free bot. Just a nice little kill, nothing crazy. One kill and then leave. I'm happy with that. I'm not going to stick around and get greedy. Yeah, I'm not particularly risking anything so 32k apparently and that's probably mostly in supplies 68k with the the dds but i'm rich at the minute so not an issue yeah we're off to lab dragon owl to hopefully hunt some bots oh one one doesn't even appear to be i know he is reacting He's dying. Thank you very much, sir. Holy shit, look at all that stuff. I should have got the white berries first, but I kind of forgot. I said I wasn't going to get greedy, so I'm not. I'm going to get out of here. I feel like that's my strategy now. I've, I've got like a strategy for killing a bot. All I do is hop in that spot, spam click in the tile that I'm stood on because they hop instantly. But if you spam click it, then you get a hit on them. The problem is you could hop into anyone and, and click them. But the majority of the time, the person sat there is a bot. So, and then once they're locked in combat with you, they're pretty fucked because most of them are slow to react. So you've already got them to like half and then they run into a dragon and you snare them and they're dead. Granted, the loot's probably not that great, but I wasn't really paying attention to it. I saw there was a rune kite shield in there, but that's about it. Might be some runes or something, too. Oh, no, it was a trident user that one, wasn't it? So, don't think you get runes from them. Safely out. That might be the first time I've peeked somebody and actually made it to safety. Let's look in the bag. We got five hide, five lava dragon bones, and a rune kite shield, and another glory. Okay, that's actually kind of big. I wanted a second glory. Okay, because I can mount one in my house. I just need to get the construction levels. Check this out, right? Where is it? Uh, trophies. 
Yeah, nobody ever, like, it's not part of the jewelry box, it's a completely different section. People seem to miss this a lot, but only level 47, and you need an Amulet of Glory with no charges. So, the reason why I haven't, like, rushed this already is because I need my glory still to have a good amulet for combat. But if I have a second one, I can use up the charges on it, and then mount it in my house so I have access to those teleports finally. That's big. I'm glad we got another glory, that was actually really lucrative. I wasn't really thinking about it. Kind of a shame we already had the rune kite shield. Apparently I have some alks to do. But I can go finish this quest now, I've got more white berries. Oh, I need to get her an hour actually, so I'll head to Edgeville and kill some men till I get one. I should point out as well, I got this cape yesterday. It turns out you don't need a crafting level to make mixed hide, you can just pay the guy at the Hunter's Guild to make it if you have the right materials. So you do need a hunter's level, basically. But the only material you need from this is jaguar fur, which isn't a hunter, you just kill the jaguars, and the guy sells them. So I just bought the fur and then made it straight into a hide. The problem is, I can't equip this yet. You need 60 ranged, and I'm only 59, which is why I've been trying to get a little bit of ranged XP in today. But we do have a nice melee up on the cape there plus one melee strength it will be a nice upgrade to have once we have it for pretty much i guess melee and ranged as well it's gonna be better for for range but yeah the other things there i do need 72 hunter to get anyway i'm gonna go finish this quest up finally now and there we go finally got the book of the dead we can make thralls Look at our happy little skeleton boy, ready to shoot some shit for us. Very nice, very nice indeed. I mean, I need more cosmic runes, but I can buy them. And more importantly, ready for this? Wabam. Okay, not quite a level. Wabam. Almost 52. Very, very nice indeed. Hello again, everyone. For the past day, I have been doing just a variety of different skilling things, basically. Right now, I'm just finishing up grabbing all the teak planks I need for 47 construction so that I can mount that glory I was talking about in, I think, the last clip. It's been a, like I spent a day not recording, just skilling basically. I did some fishing. I still need to cook a lot of it, but I've got some more food once I do cook it. I've done a little bit of herb lore and farming as well where I can, but I've honestly been trying to get renar seeds more than anything, so I've been thieving from master farmers. Unfortunately, I haven't had much luck on the renar seeds. You can see I've done a variety of different activities to try and get them. We have the undead druids who are killing initially and then just killing men in Edgeville to try and get Renar weeds, moss giants to try and get Renar seeds, no luck there, master farmers plenty of pickpocketing and seed packs from the farmers guild contracts as well. So I've been doing my best but I've only had two seeds come in from the master farmers uh, and they've both been planted, I've still got to harvest one actually. But yeah, the prayer potions are still looking a little low, unfortunately, so I need to stock up more before I can do a proper PVM session, which I want to do because my aim for this video is to open that moon chest. I thought it might happen quickly and it didn't at all, so that's okay, but I want to do it at least on this episode, which means we need to be able to kill Huey or Moxie enough. We just use so many prayer pots grinding for those hammers. Sucked all of my Renar supply is dry, and now I'm paying the price for it. But yeah, food shouldn't be an issue, we've got that. We still could do with some more Renar, so I may end up doing, I don't know, some more hunting down of them somehow. Maybe Moss Giants again. Use up some of them Chaos Runes I've got stored. Who knows? Oh, also, I've been caught in my Graceful. I'm sorry, I can't help it all. I don't, I don't, I don't care. I'm using Graceful. This is Leagues. I will upgrade it. I'm just going to use the piece. I can't be able to keep track. And, and, and this is leaks. There's no run energy in leaks. Speaking of, let's go reset. <sighs> Caught in my graceful. Ah, oh, woody red handed. I'm not talking dragon gloves. Bars. Okay, so we want a hammer and a saw. And then I think we just want teak planks, right? Oh, you can't have a follower in building mode. Word. Pop inside my mouth if you want to live. I'm not a fish, I've got more foresight than that. Okay, I've never actually talked to them before. I can't believe I didn't talk to it earlier, but 
Oh shit, I might need to build a room or something first. I don't know, maybe this is what I was going to build. Teak kitchen. Uh, we can't do that yet. Is it I was going to build? Teak table. Is that in dining room? I need cash. So this is going to be the bank I'm running into, by the way, y'all. I figure this is the closest bank chest to my house. The only other option would be here to here, which seems like it's a similar distance. Dining room. Four planks. The only other thing I could do is use a shit ton of dueling ring charges or teleport. The, I could teleport to the Grand Exchange to bank. That's probably not that bad, is it? That's probably not that bad. Okay. Dining room. Change the left click. Hold four. Change the left click. See you guys when I've got 47. I'm so glad I started by teleporting to the GE and so running into that chest. Like, that would have been awful running into that chest back and forth. This has been so quick in terms of like 15 minutes, maybe. Maybe 20. I don't know. Not very long all this time, though. I'm actually gonna bank at Edgeville for a change. And there's 47. Okay, so I should be able to. Now I'm gonna move this room. There's a good reason for it. Whenever you spawn into your house, you spawn in the exact same place. Right here. I want my glory to be as close to right here. So I'm going to add that there. We want to rotate it one. Then it should be right here. Bang! We've got a glory! We can finally use these teleports! Oh! Oh my gosh, we've still got the 4 charge glory that we'll wear for combat, but we can actually use these teleports. I can go to drain a village to do farm runs, finally! I've been teleporting to Lumbridge and running every time I want to go to this patch. You have no idea how much of a bitch it's been. Holy shit, I'm gonna go do a farm run to celebrate. Oh, feels good. It feels good. I don't have any Renar seeds though. It's actually probably a quick way to bank as well. Teleport to house and then go to Edgeville. It's probably about the same as just teleporting to the G though. So here are some Renar weeds at least. I had one planted. Seven. That's seven three dose prayer pots. We should have another contract here. Hopefully some herb seeds on offer. Hopefully Renar seeds in particular. One died, but one made it, and we only need one. I only put regular compost on them. If you've never done a farming guild contract, it's very simple. It's kind of like a slayer task. You speak to the guild master, tell her what difficulty you want, depending on your level. Would you like another contract? Yes, please. What contract would you like? An easy one, because I'm only 45. You grow some limp work roots for us. Of course I can, mate. And when you've grown it, you either have to... Uh, Harvest it or check it if it's got a check option, that's enough. And then you get a seed pack. And the higher tiers get better seeds in the pack, but we'll super compost this seems as that's something we care about anyway. What we get? Dwarf weed seeds isn't bad. I think there's some more limp work there as well. Snape grass. Every time I come through here, I've been picking Jango berries and chucking them in the big compost bin for a sort of passive super compost without having to actively grow watermelons that I don't have the seeds for. And now I've had a smoke the limp works ready. Strawberries next. No Renar seeds that time either. Got Irrit Quam and Toad Flax though. Not terrible. Right, and now it's off to our next venue. Place that I've been talking about, meaning to visit for quite a while. And I'm finally getting to it. I got my chins on me. I got this mixed hide cape now as well, because I'm 60 ranged, so we've got the whole sick little Jaguar paws coming over the shoulder and the face on the back. Well, wow, baby! Wild! I'm off to kill some spiders. Yeah, I'm draining my prayer pots even further, but I'm hoping we get some Renar weeds, Renar seeds, or grubby keys from them because they're all on offer, baby. All on offer. Let's just attract the attention of as many of these little cunts as possible. I don't know how many can actually aggro me. We can hit nine at once with the chins. We'll just try and drag them all in a bit here. And then kapow. Yeah, I've only got 329 of these, but I'm just going to use them up. Ooh, we got a weapon poison plus. That's exciting. We can put that on the DDS. I'm hoping that we might just get to 61 ranged off this too. Because if we do, then it's about time. Picked myself up a rune crossbow. Just got our first Renar weed from these as well, which is nice. 
I feel like these guys have a super short leash range before they get disinterested. Like this guy just doesn't want to leave the spot. Wait, I'm guessing that's the wrong loop path. God damn, it's annoying that I can't mark them separately now. Yeah, I'm gonna drop this over here. Hey, we got a grubby key. That's nice. Hopefully there's some prayer pots inside or some renar weed. I think it can give like a stack of 10 renars or something. Kind of what I was hoping for. This is like our best thing to casually use chins on. Unless we get like jelly slayer tasks in the future and stuff like that. I don't know how effective chins are against jellies. But yeah, outside of slayer tasks, like this is pretty much the only place we can get any value out of them. For the multi-hit properties and for some loot with the grubby keys and the herbs and the occasional nerd red spider's egg is not bad either all the the pages are good as well at the minute because i haven't completed the mini quest if you don't know there's 12 of these pages to collect four in each book the minute i've got one in each book done so i'll be up to two in the moon book after adding this to it and you have to get them each to four and when you do you hand them in for a 10k experience lamp which will of course be going on a herb law so yeah any of those we get along the way nice to have and keep all the like, extra weapon poison just in case i ever lose my dds or something and need a new one don't think i'll pick up any more after this though it will just fill the invent to be honest i could probably get away with not using prayer pots and just banking whenever because i'm not here for long enough like it's only going to take me like another trip or something you know three and a half minutes on the prayer maybe that's not as long as i thought <laughs> oh another page no other page. I think I may as well just pick everything if I'm gonna be banking anyway with no prior. I am just gonna bring a two dose with me and make sure I get this done in one trip with just 82 chins left. It's not looking like we'll get the range level unfortunately, but it's what it is. 70 spiders killed so far apparently. Another page. I think that might be one of them full now. Either that or that's two of them on three. You do need all three of them though before you can get the lamp. And a temple page. Books are going to be done in no time. Do a rune med as well, but I don't think that's going to be better than an Addy Fall, so I'll alk it promptly. Last one. Okay, well, we're almost 61 range. We'll be there soon enough. I am out of bone bolts, though, and I can't be asked to go and get more, so it's going to be a maple short bone out of an arrow as the rest of the way. I may go and do that at Lizard Men for a bit, just finish off the 61 range, and then come back and grind out the rune crossbows at Crazy Arc before I do any of that, though. Let's get this key. All right, grubby chest. Pretty mediocre. Two dust range potion though. Could be handy if we need to use range for any bosses and we're struggling. Like a quest boss or something. I don't know how often that'd come up, but I'm not gonna be mad about the bones either, but you know, pretty small amount in it. Okay, well, I'm just gonna chill here for a bit, get 61 range, and see if I can find any useful seeds from these guys. All right, folks. Well, I did manage to get one Renar seed, which is planted now. Got the 61 ranged as well, of course. So I'm going to head on over to the crazy archaeologist. I was never actually expecting to have to farm a rune crossbow because I thought I'd just get it during my farming for the fedora. But we ended up getting the fedora really quickly. So got the battle staff too. I can't remember where I got that. It was dropped from something. Oh, it was the undead druids. Yeah, they dropped it. I don't really want to use death or bloods on things that aren't weak to magic, to elemental magic. I'm going to save those for things that are weak for the most part. But I'll see how this feels. If it's rough, maybe I'll swap over if it's taking a while and I want to get quicker kills. Get this poison on the DDS. Let's go. Okay, the DDS is just in case anybody tries me to have a little bit of something. I know it's just more needless risk, really, but we don't really have any risk anyway, so it's fine. Well, other than the ca chaos runes and stuff, I guess. It's been a while since I've been out into the wild. Pretty ranged, right? There he is. Oh, no. I didn't tell him. He's in an awkward spot here. Ooh, this mystic might is using my prayer very fast. This is pretty slow, actually. I don't know if that's because I'm using Chaos Runes or if it's because my mage gear is awful. Accuracy probably could be better. Where's oh, the kill? There's some death runes. Wow, an uncut emerald. Another one down. 3k. 
Fuck's sake, man. As if I got hit by that after, too. Hey! Two rune crossbows! Let's go, that didn't take long. 9kc. Good, because those were slow kills. Didn't take many kills, it was slow though. Our magic accuracy leaves a lot to be desired. Plus 44, the most I can get at the minute. Does not matter now though, we have the rune crossbow! We can finally wield something better than a BCB. Oh, look at this bad boy. Need to get bolts in this tab now too. They're useful now. We still can't wield the broad bolts yet. We're a couple levels away, but don't worry about that. We've got room bolts. We've got addy bolts. And we've got a room crossbow. All right, folks, it is time for some more Huey. I'm here on the main 302 world. Hoping that I can at least get contribution and I don't really feel still like I've got the prayer pots to be able to use them. So I'm going to be trying not to use them at all here. I'm not going to be using offensive prayers. I'm just going to be flicking on a protection prayers as and when it's necessary. So hopefully I can get a few kills in before we then have to teleport to house. Because I built an altar in my house. I have the level for that now. So I'm going to be teleporting to my house to use the altar, refresh my prayer, and then back here with the pendant of it. That is the plan. Just hoping we can actually get contribution on a world of this many people. Use like two prayer points on this. And I got a quam seed, so I did get enough for contribution. Okay. As long as it keeps giving me drops, I'm happy. I didn't even use potions there. Okay, don't feel like I've done as much damage this kill. I hope I've done enough. Hey, rune sim. I don't know what the threshold is, so I'm always just panicky about it. I'm barely using any prayer though, now that I'm making a concerted effort not to. Like, not trying to even flick my offensives or anything. The drop rates have been clarified a little bit now, not officially, but at least on the wiki they are clarified. And a key piece is roughly one in 150 kills apparently which seems like a ton to me but apparently that's the way it is so we may be here up to 150 kc being able to get them in quick like one kill a minute on this world will definitely help with that i think that last this is kill 45 i think so we're almost a third of the way there there's another who asked a scene got quite a few of those somebody gotta hide
Yes! Yes! 116 KC. Oh, thank fuck. I was starting to think it was never going to happen. Why am I even eating food? Let's go to Erox Enclave and reset. Oh my gosh. So happy. Where's that loop? After all this, watch it be something atrocious now. It's going to be like cabbage and a crystal key, which is useless to me. Right, apparently they're both set to drop, so we don't want that. Oh, we've got a moon key, folks. A moon key. Oh. To the Twilight Temple. Well, I'd drip myself out a bit for this fantastic grand opening. I don't actually know where the chest is. Good point. Where the chest start? There's no map. Down here. Oh, it's there. Okay. Here we go, folks. I'm nervous it's going to be shit. Yep. Okay. I mean, 250 Sunfire Splinters isn't bad. Obviously, a spinach roll is a garbage drop. It's not on the wiki, so I guess I'll add that because uh, it should be. Well, folks, all that turned out to be for not very much after all, but we learned a lot about all the new content along the way. We learned that it's a lot of grinding and few rewards, but it's good fun. Oh, that's what I'll go with. Oh, fuck, I'm being attacked by an ice spider. Guess we gotta kill it now. What do you drop, Mr. Ice Spider? Is it better than a spinach roll? If it's not, you don't drop anything. Okay. Well, you're even worse than this chest here. Which does have some goodies inside, folks. I never really got to show, but we could have had dragon plate legs. We could have had a dragon stone that got made into a combat bracelet. Could have even had some nature runes or some huasca seeds or alkable rune plate bodies. We've even got watermelon seeds. I wouldn't hate that drop. A hundred of those is nice. Raw monkfish, some guess, bones. We've got this helmet of the moon. The main two up here were these two that I was really, really hoping for. But as it turns out, getting these keys is a bloody pain. It takes so long just to get a two path and to get a loop path because I've done tons of skilling and not seeming to get many loop paths at all, except for the two I got in camp to run, none of the other skilling I've done, like all the fishing I've done, I've been doing wood cutting as well, uh, it's a case of the, the construction, I was cutting teaks for ages, like I'm doing it all on Valamore and I'm not getting keys from any of it. So I'm not sure how viable it is gonna be to hunt these down, but we've had a good experience anyway, we got a rune kite shield, an upgrade to our cape here. We got myth boots this episode. We've got a mounted amulet of glory this episode and a growing collection of sunfire splinters to use. We've got unlimited water orbs on deck basically now. Like, look at this shit. I need to get my air orbs in there, actually. In fact, I think there might be some battle staffs available to claim in Varrock. I should pop over there and get those. We, we have gone so much done. So much done. We got a rune crossbow. Another grubby chest opened. The Ake spellbook. You can tell I'm getting tired because my words are failing me. You moxie kills. Yeah, it's been it's been good. We've we've really got stuck into all this new content. A few Nagua kills, just a few. I'm excited to get back to Perilous Moons. I think giving it a go with the Rune Kite Shield is probably a good shout because we got the Myth Boots and the Mixed Hide Cape as well, which are all upgrades basically. If we look at the respective replacements that we were having we if i'm just looking at slash for example we've got plus eight plus one and plus eight so that's 17 on the slash department similar numbers for the others so it's an extra fair kick to our defense i should probably turn my defense up higher too i really was hoping for the dragon plate legs but you can't win them all Got a bunch of alcohols to get done, and I should probably do buns as well. And farm runs, now I have a couple of run our seeds to plant. There they are, the beautiful bastards. Anyway, I am pretty much just rambling now, so bye.
If you enjoyed this episode of the Wild West, please do make sure to hit that like button. It helps out a ton, just promotes me into the world so more people can find the content that you're enjoying and we can grow this channel even further. And subscribe too if you haven't already so you don't miss any of the future content. I have a huge back catalogue by now and I'm only adding to it more as we go so stick around to see all of that by hitting the subscribe button. Look after yourselves, be lovely to each other. I'll see you on the next one.